Good morning, everybody. From the ricketyest bridge in Turkey. This bridge is covered in moss and the wood is very soft. So we left uh, Zungul this morning and we're headed towards the Black Sea today. Mm -hmm. I think it's like an hour and a half drive. Yep. Um, and we're going to base ourselves from there for the next couple days and just kind of like branch out and see what else is here in northern Turkey. Are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> it's also very slippery. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Look at this place. There's a sea view. Love, you did so well. Thank you. It was $30 a night. Actually, it was $31.50 to get the sea view. It's only a dollar extra for that view. Not bad, right? We have this nice kitchen that once again has no pots and pans. Is this, do people in Turkey just travel with their utensils and stuff? I don't know. big old bathroom and and look how big this bedroom is and we have a little balcony over here too that looks up the highway and just this huge massive bed I'm happy Generally, whenever we're getting ready to leave a country and we're on the home stretch, there's a day that we just end up devoting entirely to trying to figure out whatever regulations are in place and find the cheapest plane tickets and visas and all that stuff. So that's what we did yesterday after we got to our hotel in Trebizond. It was a lot of fun. But where are we now? Okay, so this morning we're at Sumela Monastery. It is the top thing to do in Trebizond. And can I just say, it is so pretty up We're here. We're back in the mountains. Look at this. And there's sunshine. Yeah, sunny, unlike uh, Ozungo. Mm -hmm. There it is. Right there. This monastery is 1600 years old. It was built by the Greeks and it's just sitting like in the cliff. They like carved into the cliff and built this entire monastery here. 
So when uh, the Turks and the Greeks had a conflict around the beginning of the 20th century, and then they had a big population exchange, mm -hmm. this really fell into disrepair, and a rock slide almost destroyed it and stuff. So for the last like six years or so, they've been restoring it, and it just reopened, was it Maybe this year, years. last year? Yeah. Yeah, so it's all freshly restored. This oh, is incredible, it's just on the side of the sheer cliff. If you just like look up the cliff here, you can see it's kind yeah. of gnarly. But they completely cover the entire cliff in this like metal cage. So it's rocks don't very fall. extensive. Yeah, they they went through great lengths to make sure it doesn't happen again. So this is what this place looks like from across the valley. And since we don't have a drone, that's the uh, best picture of it you're gonna get. Coming? No. <laughs> it's a kitchen. Neat. Yeah, there's a big oven in there. It's very dark though. This is the main rock chapel mm -hmm. of the whole complex. This is the artwork in here is very similar to what we saw in Cappadocia. But you can take pictures. But of it. you can take pictures in here. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sites like that are really incredible when you stop to think about the fact that people did this with no modern tools, equipment, machinery at all. Yeah, how did they get all the stones up there? I don't, I don't understand. It is 300 meters, so 900 feet from the ground. That's just crazy. Also, you guys. <laughs> it's postcard time. Okay, so this, we announced this one in Istanbul. This is the one that we walked all over Istanbul for. Special. So we did the uh, the random comment picker online. Mm -hmm. And the winner is, is... Kim Wright. Kim Wright. I actually recognize that name. Mm -hmm. I think she's commented on a lot of videos. Very sweet lady. So I'm glad that you won it, Kim Wright. Uh, just get in touch with us and we'll send it to you. Yeah. We only have about three days left in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So... Got a few more things to see, and then we're off to the next destination that we're really, really excited for. <laughs> uh, but for now, we've got a, an hour and a half drive back to our hotel mm -hmm. and an early morning tomorrow. So thanks you guys for coming with us today, and we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! We've been staring at this guy for like five minutes.